hello friends welcome back to online math shop we have this interesting question here to solve and so this is 27 power x uh, plus 3 power x is equal to 113 okay so we are going to be solving this our job is just pretty simple to find the value of x that actually satisfy this equation and like we've always done if you are new to our channel do well to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification icon so that whenever we release new content you will actually get to know about it and of course if you are watching us on facebook do well to also follow us and then uh, like the video and share it with your friends and having said that we're gonna proceed right into the video okay so i'm going to express this 27 here in power of 3 so i can write 27 as 3 power 3 okay and then power x right in plus 3 power 3 3 power x rather is equal to 113 okay so the next thing i want to do is i want to bring this one out of course you can remember that if you have let's say a power b power c you can actually write this as a power c and then this b coming outside okay so i'm gonna use that here so i'm gonna have a 3 power x and then power 3 okay so plus 3 power x then i will also bring this 130 to the right hand side so kind of subtracting 130 from both sides so i have minus 130 is equal to zero okay so uh, next i am going to set uh, i'm going to set my 3 power x to be equal to let's see m so that what I now have is m here m power 3 and then plus m minus 130 minus 130 is equal to 0 okay so I am going to split this uh, 30 here to have m power 3 plus m so if I split this 130 I can write it as uh, minus 1 2 5 and then minus 5 of course when you add both of them it gives you minus 30 of course this is equal to 0 okay so moving on this is m power 3 plus m minus I can actually write this 1 2 5 as 5 power 3 okay and then minus 5 is equal to 0 so I'm going to bring a uh, colored light terms at these those ones that are having power 3 I'm going to bring them together so I have m power 3 here and then minus this 5 power 3 okay so I have plus m minus 5 is equal to 0 so I am going to uh, expand this stuff right here and of course you can remember that if you have um, let's see if you have a um, a power 3 minus b power 3 you can actually write this of course you can actually expand it as a minus b and then uh, multiply by a squared plus a b and then plus b squared I'm going to use this to simplify this m power 3 minus uh, 5 power 3 so that what I have here is m minus 5 okay into m squared plus 5m okay and then uh, plus 5 squared where our m is a and then our b is 5 okay so this is what i have and then i will repeat this plus m minus 5 
is equal to zero okay so moving on you can see that i have m minus five here and also m minus five you can even write this as m minus five multiplied by one okay of course so that cannot go ahead to factorize so if i factor out this m minus five right here okay so m squared plus five m plus this uh, five squared is actually 25 okay then that's going to be left here so if i factorize m minus five here this one will be left so plus one okay is equal to zero using the zero product through i have that m minus five is equal to zero which of course implies that m is equal to five okay but if you look at this point here what we have here is of course let me just second let me just put this in block what we have there is that 3 power x is equal to m so if i replace that for m but m is equal to 3 power x so that if i now have 3 power x to be equal to 5 i can go ahead to simplify to get my x and of course taking the logarithm of both sides i have log 3 power x is equal to log 5 okay so and of course you can remember that if i have log a power b can actually write this as uh, this one can actually come down here i can actually write this as b log a okay so i'm going to use this to simplify this so that if i'm writing this what i'm going to be having is x log 3 is equal to log 5 so i can go ahead to divide through by log 3 divide through by log 3 and of course this can cancel this and then x now becomes log 5 divided by log 3 okay but of course you can remember that if you have log a divided by log b you can actually write this as log a base b okay so i'm going to also use this to simplify x further so that eventually x is now equal to log 5 base 3 okay so this is the first value for x and then picking it up from here okay so we're going to be having that m squared plus 5m plus 25 plus 1 here is actually 26 so we have 26 here okay is equal to 0 so i can go ahead to solve this and of course if you remember the general form of a quadratic equation which of course is e x squared plus b x and then plus c is equal to zero you will notice that from here that my a is equal to one and then b is equal to the quotient of x and in this case the quotient of m which is equal to five and then c is equal to uh, the constant then that is 26 okay so that what i now have is that uh, from here that m will now be equal to uh, minus b plus or minus uh, the square root of b squared minus 4ac and then divided by 2a so that if i now go ahead to substitute what i will be having is that m is equal to minus 5 and then plus or minus the square root of 5 squared 5 squared minus 4 times a is 1 and then c is 26 
okay and all divided by two times one okay simplifying for that m is now equal to minus five plus or minus the square root of 25 and then minus four times one is four and then four times so uh, 26 will give you 104 okay and of course divided by two times one here is two so that i have that m is equal to minus five plus or minus the square root of 25 minus 109 will give us minus 79 okay and it's all going to be divided by 2 okay so moving forward we recall that we set both our m is actually equal to 3 power x so that we have that 3 power x is now equal to minus 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 79 divided by 2 okay and of course you're gonna be seeing that this does not have any solution so this cannot be possible okay so this cannot be possible and the, we can't get any solution from here so we can now resort to the first solution we had, we had where x is equal to log 5 base 3 okay and of course that is what we are having here so what we want to do now is to go ahead to verify that he satisfied this equation and of course the equation we are solving is 27 power x and then plus 3 power x is equal to 113 so if you replace this value for x is it actually going to satisfy this equation so let's find out so we have 27 power log 5 base 3 and then plus 3 power log 5 base 3 is equal to 113 okay so we want to find out whether this is true so let me simplify this as 3 power 3 27 is 3 power 3 okay and then log 5 base 3 okay so plus 3 power log 5 base 3 we want to find out whether this will give us 113 okay so moving on we have from here that we can actually bring this 3 out so that we have 3 power log 5 base 3 all raised to power 3 and then plus 3 power log 5 base 3 and of course is it equal to 113 and so if you remember one of the rules of log reading which basically says that if we have x power log x y that this is actually going to give you equal to y so this is what i am going to use uh, to simplify further so now from okay. here what this one now collapses to is equal to five okay so this is five power five 5 power 3 rather okay and then plus this one now collapses to 5 and then we want to find out whether this is equal to 113 okay so 5 power 3 is 125 plus 125 is it equal to 113 and of course you can see 125 plus 5 is 113 is equal to 130 so you can see that this satisfies the uh, equation we are solving so for the value of x that satisfies this equation is x equal to uh, log 5 base 3 and that is actually the solution to this equation so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you subscribe to our channel for more updates turn on the notification icon so that you will get notified each time we release new content and of course, I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye.